We're on our way now. Two comedians in and a whole bunch still left to go. So we'll just keep cracking right on. Joe Oakley, put your hands together, please. Clap him and be like Joe Oakley. Is. Put your hands together for our third comedian, Tom Douglas. How are we doing, Sheffield? We're good, yeah? Good. So, I had sex with my mum's sister last night. Bit of an anticlimax. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She didn't come. I took my wife to see the Spice Girls in Manchester. Not the band, just the drug addicts. You see in city centre, slumped over benches, and sleeping doorways and shit. I've taken up planking in the gym recently. Not the exercise, I just go in with a bit of two before and twat people in the face. <laughs> the fucking posing ones, you know the ones. So yeah, um, I'm writing a musical about Jimmy Savile as a satellite dish repair man. Got any Jimmy fans in? <laughs> Great, yeah, so Jimmy Savile as a satellite dish repair man, fiddler on the roof. Yeah, fixing your dish, looking at your kids. Um, yeah, I told my mum I was going to go into stand-up. She says, oh, you've got to have thick skin in that game, son. And don't you listen to the naysayers. I said, don't you worry, mum. I can give a fuck what horses think. <laughs> I used to think that a unitard was a retarded unicorn. You can laugh, it's fine. Imagine the damage that I caused, careering around me, it's fucking on. So yeah, I'm a painter and decorator, that's what I do. We got any painter and decorators in? None. I, I didn't expect it in this bar, to be honest with you. Have we got any vegan bloggers in? None, I'm surprised at that as well. So I'm a painter and decorator, that's what I do. I did a quote on the way of this evening, actually. I stepped inside the guy's lounge and said, I have a dream. Didn't get the job. But one of the, one of the perks about being a self-employed painter and decorator other than the fact we don't pay any tax. <laughs> Laugh it up, it's fucking true. <laughs> you, you made exactly 12 and a half grand again this year after deductions. It's fucking it, spooky, isn't it, mate? <laughs> One of the other perks is we get to wear bib and braces. Does anyone know bib? I'm not even going to ask you because. Oh, you do, but you don't know what a decorator. Right, all right, fine. Bib and braces are essentially white dungarees, yeah? You've got your two straps coming over here, your chest piece, various other pockets for your painting paraphernalia. And a kind of sort of kangaroo joey pouch situation here that flips up and down. I think we can see where this is going, can't we? <laughs> I level with the chef feel there's nothing highbrow, intelligent or deep or political about my shit. Now, the kangaroo joey pouch is my wife and I's favourite part of the bib and braces. Because it plays an integral role in the game that we like to play of an evening. Called cock, bollocks or nothing. <laughs> or here in Sheffield, cock, bollocks, note. What this game entails, I will get in from work, I'll find where my wife's sat, she's a teacher, she'll probably be marking books till midnight, something like that, I'll stand in line of sight, she knows what fucking time it is when I stand there, she, I'll have a rummage around behind said pouch, she'll close her eyes, and I'll, I'll produce either cock, bollocks, or nothing. So say it with me, Sheffield, cock, bollocks, nothing. Again, cock, bollocks, nothing. Yes, it's sort of like a vulgar take on the classic rock, paper, scissors. Cock, paper, scissors, if you will. So yeah. I'll have a rummage around, she'll voice which one she thinks there. She'll open her eyes, I'll do the big reveal. See what I did there, big reveal. Yeah. Best of five, loser makes tea, innit? <laughs> Ladies, you can switch this up if you want. Instead of cock, bollocks, nothing, you could have clip, lips, niche. Yeah. I recommend this game to anybody, seriously. Like, it'll brighten up any, any dreary weekday evening any social situation. Play it with your family at Christmas instead of charades. <laughs> hey, it's one bit same if we didn't see, if, if Uncle Bob didn't get his cock out and we didn't see Granny's fanny at Christmas. <laughs> now I'm not gonna lie to you, being a painter and decorator is kind of fucking shit. And I reckon I could retire off this to be honest with you. So um, it's got that Saturday night game show material written all over it. So I might take it on Dragon's Dead. 
I can just imagine Duncan Bannatyne now. Uh, I've seen your court bollocks, nothing gear you told me. I'll tell you where I am. I'm out. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sheffield, and some lovely Thank you. Give it up for the very funny Tom Douglas, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.